Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to look at determining the input impedance of this buck converter. So in this converter, we're doing average current mode control of the current, uh, which is forming our inner current loop. And we're also feeding back the voltage so that we can perform voltage loop control as well. And then again, with the PI controller here, we can see at the front end here, I've inserted a sinusoidal voltage source in series with the DC bus voltage currently set with an amplitude of zero. So this DC bus voltage of 12 volts has a sinusoidal voltage source in series. And then we're going to monitor the current into the converter and we're also going to monitor the uh, voltage across the sources here. So this voltage sensor and current sensor are needed and we set up AC probes on the outputs of both of those. Those AC probes are found in elements other and then probes and we've got the AC probes down here. So we need these two uh, so that we can do Ohm's law and figure out what the input impedance is. The next thing to look at is if we run this simulation we can see that we're hitting a uh, steady state definitely between four and six milliseconds. Um, and so we need that information for when we set up the sweep here. So the sweep block here, the sweep control block is found in elements, other, and it's the AC sweep multi-sign block. We'll enable this block and we'll look at uh, the parameters that I'm using. So we're going to sweep between 10 hertz and 100 kilohertz. Uh, this converter is switching at 250 kilohertz. We're going to use 40 points. The source name vSign, do you see how this name matches this source? That's very important. Uh, and we're also going to use an amplitude of 0.5 uh, volts and a steady state time of 5 milliseconds. So again, from that previous uh, it's time domain stimulation, we found out when we were going to hit steady state. So what's going to happen in this simulation is when we're running the AC sweep, the converter is going to hit steady state at 5 milliseconds and then frequencies uh, we're going to introduce our frequencies and our AC probe elements are going to pick up the amplitude and phase relative to the uh, source here. Okay, so uh, we're ready to run now and we'll just run this simulation now. It'll take a few seconds to run. Okay, so you can see um, the, the top plot here. I've already got it set up. We've got the voltage minus the current. So these... Um, these plots are giving us dB as the y-axis, so we don't need to do division. Um, we're already in logarithmic scale, so a simple subtraction is all that's needed. And I haven't done it to the phase yet, and I'll do that right now. So we'll hit this Add Curve button here. We'll remove both of these, and then we'll bring the phase down, the voltage, minus, and the current. We'll bring that down, and then we'll add that back over there, and it's going to calculate that up, and we're going to get the phase information. So this is, um, in dB, the input impedance for us. We can convert this into ohms by doing uh, 10 root this number divided by 20, essentially. And then you'll be able to convert back to ohms if you're interested in the numbers that way. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial video. This, again, was determining the input impedance of this buck converter. The key points here is to use this uh, current sense element and voltage sense element to monitor the voltage and current going into the converter. And then uh, when you have the results on the back end, it's to do the, the subtra subtraction here. So we do voltage minus the current. The last thing to comment on is what happens. How do we come up with this amplitude here? Well, we want to have sweeps that are nice and smooth, like these ones here. If we use a number that's too big, for example, so this is 0.5, so that's about 5% of my input voltage. So if I use maybe, say, 10% of my input voltage and do the sweep, we can see what the results look like. So here's the sweep results if I have too much voltage uh, for my perturbation. And we can see that this is extremely noisy and, and, and it's um, likely that uh, the perturbation is causing the converter to go into some sort of abnormal operation. So we need to be careful with the amplitude that we choose. Uh, so this was running with one volt, which is far too big. And we remember that the, the plot with uh, half a volt was, was much smoother and much nicer and was giving us very good results. So if you're getting bad results, play around with the amplitude and make sure that you've hit steady state on your converter before these frequencies get injected. Okay, that's it for this tutorial video. Thank you so much for watching.